Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Less it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. Ready to start for today's video, the beer's courtesy of Billy. Thanks so much, Billy, I really appreciate it. This is one of those beers that I like to say will get you where you're going. Uh, so this is New Glory Craft Brewery, um, great name, and it's Purgatory Imperial Breakfast Stout, like Purgatory, like uh, percolating coffee is my assumption, and then purgatory. I think it's a plan. All of that. Um, let's see. Brewed and canned by New Glory. New Glory. I keep want to say New Found Glory because that's a band I like. New Glory Craft Brewing, Sacramento, California. Um, the Imperial Stout might just be enough to wash away your sins. We work closely with Valiant Coffee Roasters to create a custom blend of coffee beans that complements the bold flavors of maple syrup and vanilla in this beer. We use golden naked oats to achieve that creamy, silky mouthfeel we all crave. Rich, intense, and just plain decadent. Some might say it's to die for. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, especially ingredients. So it's got the um, Valiant Coffee Beans, vanilla beans, maple syrup, and other natural flavors flavors <laughs> favors um and like i was saying before this is one of those beers that'll get you where you need to go 16 ounce can at 13.1 percent abv let's get into it very full fill i like that little bit of red and brown in there as it poured out but um mostly black as it was pouring been trying to pay more attention to that when I'm pouring since like when it's in the glass, you know, things look darker. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically motor oil. Um, about, I don't know, half to three quarters of a finger of a dark mocha color. Tiny bubbles. It definitely looks like a big stout. It's going to see aroma. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> no mistake and this has coffee in it. It's a, ooh. Nice little like mapley graham cracker too. That was I, unexpected, but very pleasant. The coffee's super interesting. You are getting like, it's funny that the bubble, it won't pick up on camera, I'm sorry, but the, the thin layer of head in the center on top of the liquid, it was just starting to break up where you can see the black liquid instead of the head. And it was just really fun to watch. Is it, it kind of looked like um, if you ever see like a bunch of fish swim to the top of the water, and it's just like, well, where are all these little like you know blips in the water? It was kind of like that. So very enjoyable for me. Probably not as enjoyable for you listening to me try to explain it. Uh, but anyway, the coffee is really interesting because you're getting like like a really nicely just brewed cup of coffee. You're getting a little bit of coffee grounds specifically also. So you're kind of getting coffee in a couple different ways. And I like, I like coffee enough that even, I use a French press at home, um, but like even like after I you know, press it, I pour my coffee out and I go to like, you know, put the rest of it in the compost pile or whatever, compost bin or whatever. I even like that smell of the coffee. So it's not like an off-putting thing. It's just such a robust and, and, and complex amount of coffee. I love the coffee in this. I was surprised I got any maple because I feel like a lot of maple just ferments out. Big chocolate. But it's it's so roasty because of the coffee. It's like like milk chocolate is maybe fighting its way through, but it's very much dark chocolate. Man, this I I really like this. But again, like I'm a huge fan of coffee. And I, th th this is not a beer for someone who doesn't like coffee. But because I like coffee, I like stouts, I like chocolate, I like how those things smell. The combination of this, the intensity in this, I love this. And there's just enough sweetness. It's not like full on like creamer or anything, but it's like just enough sweetness. It, it, yeah. I don't know. It smells fantastic. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Billy. This is a pretty smooth beer, but there's, and I mean this in a good way, there's some prickliness with the coffee where it kind of like commands your attention. It, it's like this just really nice sip. You're getting the big stout, the chocolate notes, the roasty notes. Uh, there's some sweetness to it. Like the aroma, just this kiss of maple that, again, is surprising me. But like 
and even the coffee, like, kind of like the aroma, uh, it makes me think of like cold brew coffee is just so smooth. Like the acidity is not really there. You know, it's just such a smooth sip. That this has that kind of coffee, but then it has more like, for lack of a better word, like prickly coffee, um, where it's like it's not like full on acidic or anything, but like where you you can't. Your, your mind has to be drawn to it kind of a thing. You can't just mindlessly sip it, um, which I really appreciate. Man, apparently I need a coffee candle, a coffee scented candle. I, I love this aroma that much. Excuse me. Now that my palate's a little bit more used to the level of coffee in this, I'm getting so much more chocolate. But it keeps coming back to that coffee. Um, but again, in a good way. Another, and again, everything I've said so far, still true. You're just getting like, you're noticing different things or different intensities of different things. Also very much uh, Oreo without the cream just the the chocolate wafer or whatever i guess it's a wafer cookie whatever part or whatever you call the chocolate part of an oreo it has a little bit of that but not quite that sweet man should i talk about the aroma again it's so good there's a little bit you know what? There's a little bit of that creamer vibe. Oh, good mouthfeel too. I should m mention that. I think however much oats they were using per batch, blah, 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 blah. Technical stuff, I don't know. Um, nice level. Nice level. Um, oh, typical me. Well, I guess I, I got the creamer part of it. I was like, isn't there vanilla in this beer? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I gotta get shirts or whatever, something made up that says Vanilla Police. Um, but I, I, I guess to be fair to the beer and the brewery, I do get a, a little bit of this creamer vibe, which has to be the vanilla. So I guess there is a vanilla taste. But um, and you know what? Probably what the vanilla is doing, maybe because I've said vanilla so many times, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of vanilla cutting through the aftertaste of the coffee and the very bitter chocolate that's still very long finished, like still lingering on the palate. Um, but I think, if nothing else, because this, and maybe the maple syrup too, because this beer has so much roast with the coffee and maybe the base beer also, that vanilla is providing a touch of sweetness, a touch of almost like milky, you know, again, this creamer uh, uh, taste to the beer, which I think this beer needs. It might be, like, it's a little smoky, but it's not ashtray, but like it could get there, I think, without the maybe the sweetness of the maple syrup and then the vanilla also working with it. Um, because it's not, yeah, it's not full on ashy, but there's like a little bit of that too in here. The more I'm like kind of thinking about it and tasting, again, this very long finish. Um, it's a really good beer. As someone who likes coffee stouts, who likes co coffee stouts and coffee stouts, this is really good. Like this is like, if, if you're, the brewery, be very proud of this beer. Like you knocked it out of the park, this is fantastic. Uh, have you guys had this beer before? Have you had this combination of adjuncts and a beer? Um, do you like coffee and beer? I don't know, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers everyone.